Hey everyone, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a current favourites video. I don't know whether this is going to be classed as a September favourites, but this is kind of just like a real big bunch of stuff that I've been really enjoying over the past few weeks and last couple of months really. Um, it's been a weird few weeks. It's been like crazy, crazy manic with everything, just trying to get the house ready for baby. If you are new here, I am currently almost 38 weeks pregnant and um, I'm not sure when this is going to go up. I might almost be at 39 weeks when you see this video um, I might have had the baby. I am kind of pre-recording a couple of videos so that I've got some in the bag so that when he arrives I can still pop videos up and um, even if it's just one a week I'm quite happy to sit and kind of pre-record now because um, I'm at that stage now where I'm fully nesting. The house is all kind of where we want it to be, everything is ready for his arrival, so any spare time I've got I might as well use filming these videos. There is a fly buzzing around so I apologise if that makes an appearance throughout this video. So this first item is all kind of like squished and almost seen the end of its day. This is by Soap and Glory and this is the Ultimelt Cleanser. Now I have talked about this before. I think this is an incredible dupe for the Liz Earl Cleanser. I've heard that they probably are made in the same place so they're very very similar and I know that my friend who also makes YouTube videos on here obviously um, Charlotte Taylor she loves the Lizelle one so Charlotte if you're watching give this one a go it's a fraction of the price and it's so nice I'm a poet and I didn't know it um, but yeah basically this is a hot cloth cleanser so I use this to remove makeup basically so I pop it on a dry face. So if I was going to take my makeup off now, I'd just go upstairs and literally put this straight on my face and then massage it all in. Sometimes I add a little bit of extra water to lather it up a little bit and then I will remove it all with a hot flannel or hot cloth and it works amazingly. It doesn't leave my skin feeling greasy or anything like that. It has got a little bit of a scent but it's not overpowering. It's just quite fresh and it's a really, really good cleanser. It's like one of those melting ones that just gets rid of any traces of makeup. Um, so I'll use this and I'll go, then I'll go in with like another cleanser just to kind of remove any last dregs and things like that um, that might be left on the skin before toning. So if you're after a new cleanser and they are often on offer as well, like three for two or two for ten pounds with like the whole soap and glory range. Um, I think they do some fantastic skincare but this is my favourite thing that I've tried of theirs. On the other scale of price bracket, I have a Jo Malone perfume that I have had for a little while and haven't used. I feel like it's a very autumn winter scent. This is Blackberry and Bay and I feel like this is kind of like a much warmer scent, something that kind of calls to be worn at the end of the year when the months are a little bit cooler. Um, so I've recently been using this and it's one of those that when I wear it, a lot of people ask me what I've got on and like Tommy said, have you changed your per perfume recently because you, it smells really nice. I really like this new one that you're wearing um, and it's just one that I've been gravitating towards every day. So I know it's quite a popular one and um, for me, I don't really like pomegranate noir. Um, this one trumps it for me um, for the kind of like winter scents from Jo Malone. So if you buy a counter and you're after a new perfume or even if you want a gift for somebody, I think it's one of those scents that's not too out there. I feel like Pomegranate Noir is a very sophisticated um, kind of a scent that you, I don't know, um, it's a little bit too different for me, whereas this one I feel like quite a lot of people would like, so it's maybe quite a safe Christmas present for somebody. I'm just gonna go back and forth with the price scales because now we're back at the lower end and this is an eyeshadow that I want to talk to you about and it's actually what I'm wearing on my eyelids today. I'm literally wearing all of my eyes and blended out and I know that it won't be to everybody's taste. Um, I do get asked a lot of questions about what I'm wearing on my eyes, especially if I've worn this to film a video on, a lot of you always ask. So it's part of my uh, little square thing, the Z palette with all my Makeup Geek eyeshadows in that you've all seen a million times before and it's Roulette Eyeshadow by Makeup Geek. So I think this is one of their foiled eyeshadows so it comes in about seven or eight pounds rather than the five pound ones but it's so worth it. It's this gorgeous very warm burnt ready rusty orange colour and it reminds me a lot of Antiqued by MAC but I actually prefer this because I find they go on a lot nicer, they're very, very creamy. And I like that this one is a little bit more orange toned, whereas Antiqued is a little bit more um, bronzed, if that makes sense. And it's so easy to use, and it's really nice, kind of like mixed with other eyeshadows as well. But I really like to just whack it on, and it's kind of like a bit of a statement eyeshadow look 
but just with one shadow so it's a really easy kind of go to if you're not quite sure what to throw on but you want to be a little bit out there goes really nicely with a nude lip if I do say so myself just two more makeup products to show you and the first is the blusher that I'm wearing today this is Benefit Dallas and it's one of their box blushes I haven't used the Benefit blusher in a long time I got rid of so many of them but this was the only one that I kept I have been using the same blusher the Tarte Captivating blusher for months now since I got it but it's quite light it's quite a peachy toned blusher and I feel like when it gets a little bit colder and we all kind of switch up our makeup to those kind of like deeper tones this blusher is a really really nice one to go to so it looks like this in the pan it does look quite natural and quite fresh even a little bit peach toned but it's more of a brown peach if that makes sense it's got a little bit of something running through it it's not glitter but it does kind of have that iridescence to it and it's probably probably my favorite Benefit blusher that I've ever used and the only one that I would really repurchase to be honest so I've been using that the last few weeks um, over any other blusher and it's a really really nice one. The last makeup item is a MAC product and I don't really talk about MAC too often I don't feel on my channel unless it's a lipstick. This is Teddy Eye Pencil and I've actually got it in my waterline today but my eyes were watering so badly today that I don't know if there's much left to be honest but this is basically just a brown eyeliner and um, I won't swatch it for you I find that if you just google a swatch for it it'll, someone will have done it a lot better than I'll be able to sat here for you now and it's a little bit old school YouTube to sit and do that but it is basically a deep brown eyeliner but it's got a little bit of a sheen to it a bit of a satin finish it's not got gl glitter specs in it or anything like that it's just got a little bit of dimension to it whereas I've also got coffee and coffee is kind of like a flat brown eyeliner so this one has just a little bit something different to it again and I find that that sheen makes it just come across like a little bit warmer than coffee does. This has been a firm favourite the past couple of weeks. I've gone back to using it in my waterline and also when I remember I didn't do it today on the tops of my um, the top lash line as well just to kind of make my lashes look a little bit fuller and give a little bit more dimension. A couple of homey bits and this won't be a shock to some of you who have watched for a long time but it is that time of year where I have cracked open another Fireside Treats Yankee Candle. Now I haven't bought this is the only Yankee candle really that I ever buy Um, I mainly get my candles now from Home Sense or maybe like Sainsbury's um, or Primark but this one I go back to every year is actually the website that I used to buy this from was it was actually in the sale I bought a couple a couple of weeks ago and it basically smells like toasted marshmallows it honestly is the nicest scent and it's one that you smell immediately when you walk in the room if you've had it burning if I have this burning and I have someone around they always ask me what the smell is and most of the time people love this it's just gorgeous it smells like autumn it's a little bit vanilla -y. it just it's incredible so please just smell this um if you want to know what my house smells like the majority of the time it's this and also the mince pie air wick plug-in refill things um because they're everywhere I stocked up on those someone was selling like loads of them on ebay because I'm really hoping they're going to come back this year but if they don't I stocked up on eBay um, but that and this is they're just like my favourite scents to have in the house and then another homeware thing which is a little bit random but I just wanted to share it with you I did share this on my Instagram stories I did a little bit of a kind of five new interior favourites and popped it on my Insta story and this was part of it. This is from Anthropology, and it was £14 but I think it would make a really nice Christmas present. I don't know whether to do like a Christmas gift guide this year or not. Let me know if you find those helpful. But spoiler, if I do this will be in it probably. But it's just a little trinket dish. So they do one that's pink and rectangular and it has kind of like um, it's London based whhereas this one's Paris so I don't know if you can see but there's like a little Eiffel Tower on there there's a little Moulin Rouge baby blue around the bottom with like a bit of a gold outline and I have this on our hallway table out there and we just use it to put like coins on or a key or you know just bits and pieces that you just drop drop on that hallway table when you come in from being outside and I love this I just think it's so cute but I don't know I just it just makes me happy so I wanted to include that and um, I'll pop the link to everything down below and um, so you can go and kind of like have a look at stuff for yourself and um, a couple of fashiony bits the first one is this t-shirt that I'm wearing and I think I mean it's a black and white striped t-shirt they probably sell this on a lot of websites this was ASOS but this is actually maternity and this has seen me through 
the last few months of my pregnancy and if any of you are pregnant if this is still available I really hope that it is or I'll try and find something similar it was so affordable it's so soft it's washed beautifully and it's just been something that's been really easy to throw on and um, it covers the bump really nicely I have mine in a 12 and it's true to size and um, it's not one that's kind of like it's, it's got a nice length to it so it covers the bump and you're not worried about kind of like pulling it down or anything like that so this is a, 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 a current favorite it's short sleeved as well but still like quite a nice length they turn over but it comes up to my elbow so covers that um flabby bit that nobody really likes and another maternity favorite this is a fashion again this is a bra um it's a nursing bra i'll just do it up I've somehow i've washed it and it's come unclipped there we go this was actually from new look and i featured this i did like a bit of a impromptu haul on one of my vlogs a few weeks ago and this was featured in there and i'm just i've been wearing the same white and black maternity bra basically the whole way through and i just wanted something that was just a little bit nicer um and i think they do this in khaki green as well so i'm definitely going to order that so this is what it looks like so it's a gorgeous rose color um and it's got the little bit of lace on the you know on the main bit and then it's got these two gorgeous little straps so our baby shower my dress kind of showed these i wore it was a blue dress and um it was kind of a little bit low cut or lower cut so it showed these straps but i didn't quite mind it because it showed it was just something um a little bit different i keep saying that um it's just a really really gorgeous bra and I, when i had it on i was like everybody look at this and i kept i was like to my sisters look at this would you believe it was a maternity bra um, and my friend that's just recently had a baby i was like look at this for a nursing bra and um, because it is actually a nursing bra so you can obviously just click click the clips off um, and then it's like easy access for when baby's on the boob um, but I'd really recommend this and it wasn't very expensive I think I got it from ASOS but again I'll pop all the links down below and then the last fashion favourite um, if you watch any of my vlogs you'll have seen these I have been wearing these non-stop they are my Vans platform shoes um, or trainers I ordered these quite a while ago didn't wear them for ages because I was just a bit scared because I've never really worn pla like platforms like this, but they go with everything. I've been wearing them with like leggings, with my dungarees. They just really jazz up an outfit and they're just something different to me wearing my black Converse all the time basically. And obviously they give me a little bit of height. I just, I really like them. So I just wanted to show you those and tell you that I've been wearing all them a lot this month. Last couple of bits. TV, we are on the last season of Suits. I absolutely love the writing style that they've got this season and I just find myself sitting and laughing along with it, which I haven't in a while with Suits, I don't think. So I really like that. And we've been watching Bake Off, Obsessed. I love, is it Ra Raoul? Um, he is a firm favorite. Um, obviously I don't know when this video is gonna go up, so he might have long gone by the time that anyone watches this. And um, Big Brother is another guilty pleasure that I don't know whether I should admit that I've been watching it or not, but I just like to create a little bit of discussion. So if any of you want to have a little comment about what you're watching recently or what you enjoy, if you're watching Big Brother, who you like, who you don't like, what you think of the series, anything like that. I'm always after new recommendations for like Netflix and stuff. Leave any recommendations down below. That's everything that I've been kind of loving for the past few weeks, couple of months. Really hope you enjoyed this. Please do subscribe if you did and I will see you all very soon with my next video. Thank you for watching.